Hey everybody, how y'all doing? I am going to give you guys my recap and review on Steins Steinsgate Episode 3. Now, this episode right here, well, I gotta say, I'll be honest with you, like, um, I was very, very lost, and you know, I was into the episode so much, and I'm trying to like, and I went back a couple steps about like, trying to understand the information given here, trying to make some connections, it made me go nuts and bolts right now. <laughs> In other cases, if you want to know what that means, like, um, made me go crazy and I was kind of lost or something and yeah so if anything else like um let's go okay all right um at the beginning of the episode we have two with that Makise Makise Kurisu just comes in and says I see that you're just experimenting something you know even Okarin or Hoai Kyoma whatever you want to call him or Okabe Rintaro just just goes like how the heck did you know where I was? She goes, I just asked asked someone, he or she, or I don't know what his name, and then she fought Hashida whatsoever. And I'm thinking in my mind, dude, are you serious? Did you just like write out your best friend or something? And she wants to look at a couple things here and there. And, you know, we have to it that we have a little funny pervert moment about like who's being called a pervert, pervert, a pervert genius girl, pervert that guy, oh my gosh, she goes like, you know, I could sue both of you so easily right now, you hear me? And I'm thinking in my mind, girl, who are you first off? And second off, what the f are you? Well, that's just me entirely. And we have to it that our boy, um, Kyoma, Hoai, and Kyoma decides to, let her, decides to let her take a look at a couple things. First, she must become a lab member. Two, it's like, how am I supposed to say it? You forget all about the sexual harassment thing that ever, ever happened. I'm thinking in my mind, yo, you're going to let some girl join strange girl that you don't know, that you thought it was dead, like many episodes back, which was really complicated, if anything else, to join your freaking lab club or research facility or something and this was um how am I supposed to say it uh complicated I was like taking angry aggressive breaths or just deep deep breaths or something anything in my mind <sighs> you can't be serious about this man <laughs> and then we have the fun funny fight thing where Hawaiian kill my cause her Christina Lab 004 and this became much more complicated and she tells him stop calling me that freaking yo I ain't perfect kill mom and I'm thinking about my what the freaking heck stop doing this please you're making me nuts and bolts again anyways um we have Mayuri come in after we have Makise Kirisu and Hashi Daru and then Okabe talking about like um the microwave or thingy whatsoever and we have to it that Mayuri comes in and says I got something for us and she and Mayuri was pretty excited to see um see a girl inside so she ends up saying hey how you doing she hugs her and blah 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 whatever it is what it is I don't I could give two cracks about that sorry about that I don't know where that explosion came from anyway please forgive me anyways um as the episode progresses on with its own procedure we see to it that um they decided to test out Mayuri's um chicken, whatsoever. It cooks it up and then Hoen Kyoma's um cell phone. In other words, Okabe, if you want me to call him by his regular name. And they end up trying to do something here, send a message like Okabe is a freaking pervert whatsoever. And Mayuri was kinda impatient, opens the microwave, kaboom! EMP waves or something, I don't know, electro shock waves, I don't know, came out of nowhere, you know, electro. <laughs> and we see to it that things got a little bit hectic here and there, and I'm thinking in my mind, you gotta be kidding me right now, what the freaking heck are you gonna do now? And we have to it that our boy, Okabe Rinta, our, um, what's his name, what's, what's his name, Mitchell Babber, um, Ho, Hyo, Kill my whole line, whatever. Says, behold, a time machine, whatsoever, you know, that kind of thing. And this, this surprises me to see Kurisu. The next day, um, we have a little backstory, like a little small backstory, what happened yesterday, how she gets all, I don't believe this, I don't believe this, I don't believe in time machines, and, and she did not come back. 
So we have Okabe talking to Daru or his friend and going like, we gotta hack into ser CERNs whatsoever, etc. Get some information here and there, blah, 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 that kind of thing. And I'm thinking in my mind, what the heck is going on? Excuse me for another explosion again. I don't know what's going on with my neighborhood, but I guarantee it, but I'll guarantee you it's not, it's not a quiet one. It's always been like that a lot of times. Anyways, going back to um, this episode right here, I just go like, come on, man. What is going crazy here? And of course, um, John Titor again, you know, that kind of thing. And he has a little talk with Amane here and there. And he's all like saying, we're going up against the organization, blah, blah, blah. We're going to do this and that, you know. And Amane says she heard everything, you know, and I'm thinking in my mind, oh, dear Lord, here we go again. We're going nuts and bolts with the, another... with with the crazy mad scientist again <laughs> and so forth so anyways continuing on we see to it that that um Hoenn Kilma Hoenn Lion Kilma decides to research John Titor or J Titor John again you know and there's a lot of information involving here and there human memories and then like 18th century making this making that you know and I was trying to rewatch that scene many many times and make connections you know and I'm like going nuts and bolts and lost right now. <laughs> I'm not playing right now. I'm like, it's like my bolts just like got take got shot out right now. And I'm like, where am I at right now? That's how lost I am. I was trying to rewatch a couple informational scenes that might that's supposed to make some sense and make some connections here and there, and so forth. Again, sorry for the damn explosion lately. <laughs> Anyways, um. As the episode progresses, we see to it that our, bo our boy, our boy, managed to get hack into the system after we have Hyoma and Kyoma having a little small moment with Mayuri and so forth. And we see to it that these information given is like starting to make some sense here and there. But what makes it worse is like something involved a dead person whatsoever. It showed that thing many, many times right now and before it ended. And the moment I took a look at that de dead person again, and it ends off there. And I'm thinking about my, what the heck? Is it over already? No, I'll be honest with you. I was into this episode a lot that I had to repeat a couple scenes to, like, um, understand the info, you know? And I'm still kind of lost. Now, all you, all you, you know, you know, you know who, are, and I, I bet all you who watch Steins Gate or play the visual now might go like, yeah, you're going to get lost a couple times here and there. Or I bet you all might be thinking, What's with this guy, man? He calls himself something else. Yeah, 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 I know, I suck. Nope, no joke. And, and etc. Anyways, as the episode progresses, well, it's already over the moment it shows dead person, like, just bolded in red. And I'm thinking in my mind, does this refer to Makise Kurisu? I'm just wondering right now, because, like, um... If I remember, like, in the first episode, it, 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 I was like, she she got killed or something. And I'm not really sure after, like, um, this weird old time warping thing, pressing whatsoever, had a, had an involvement in it. Right now, I'm making connections right now, you know? I'm putting trying to put things together, and now you guys can call me crazy, if anything. Which I am crazy from the start, because I'm now trying to make some connections about the information here and there, gathered from freaking like um, episode one two and now into three about john titor john titor is going to be in a might be a uh, important play in this series anyway because i'm pretty sure like um yeah i've got to mention that john titor did give um ho on kyoma's um he gave him his email so forth talk to ho and kyoma he says text me sometime and i'll text you back you know that kind of thing and so forth so overall this episode pretty Pretty crazy, you know? Like, um, of course, it was kind of BS about Mekise Kurisu saying that she asked someone like Hashida to tell him where Hyoma Kyoma is. On, yeah, you, you get what I'm saying that. But the information I've been trying to connect from at least episode 1 and then with episode 3 and then episode 2. I don't remember much, much about episode 2, but guarantee it's starting to go out of control in my mind right now, you know? That kind of thing. So... Overall, I actually had an enjoyment in this episode. Again, I am trying to make connections, and I'm still lost like heck. But with all this small information that I'm trying to make small connections with, it's starting to get a little clear once in a while. I was told by a couple of my friends saying that you're going to be lost for like the couple of episodes. But later on, it's going to make sense in the end. So yeah, anyways, I'm just going to leave it at that, people. Um, 
I'll see you guys in my next my next Steins Gate um review and recap, which will be Saturday. You know, Sunday's already the new week for me, so that's why I started like um, watching it. So yeah, I will be those of you who kept up with me. I will be doing Steins Gate Steins Gate reviews and recaps at least um on the weekends only. You know, at mo at most. So I'll see you guys later. All right, I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace out. Bye bye.